Hello, my name is Martin Gentischer. I'm an employee of the Mercedes-Benz Museum. And in this podcast, I may present to you one of the first SLs ever, the 300 SL of the Carrera Panamericana from the year 1952. But first of all, how did the story of the SL begin? It was the year 1951 Mercedes-Benz wanted to return to motorsports. There wasn't that much money after the war, but possibly the new race cars should be as successful as the Silver Arrows of the 30s. Only components of the existing passenger car program could be used. The biggest engine was the one of the 300 Sudan, the six-cylinder inline engine, which was a bit too high for a race car, so it had to be turned to the side by 45 degrees. As well, the English and the Italian cars were much more powerful. The only chance for being competitive was making the car super light. So an SL. For this, Rudolf Uhlenhardt developed the new space frame, a frame which was extremely sturdy and very light at the same time, the weight just 50 kilograms. In the frame, they fitted the engine and around the aluminium shell. The disadvantage was the height of the frame, and so the only possibility to fit doors to this car was hanging them up on top, and so the legendary Gullwing was born. The new race car was at once successful. There was one race victory after the other. But the most legendary race was the last one in November 1952, the Carrera Panamericana in Mexico. For Karl Kling and Hans Klenk, the race didn't really start fine. On the first day, a vulture crashed through the windscreen and injured the co-pilot in his face. So at once they fitted the bars in front of the new windscreen. And with this competitive advantage of the vulture protection, they won the race with an overall lead to half an hour. If you want to see this car live and in color, just visit me and my colleagues here in the Mercedes-Benz Museum.